Was right, wasn't I? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Looking for someone who can make me a master quality breastplate. Never known a master who wasn't a dwarf. Fergus, perhaps? Say he's holed up somewhere in Velen. So long. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Interested in the weapon? There's a tail behind every item I've got. What are you peddling?
winds howling. To work by any chance? No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Only worthless fucking sailors. Not worth shite if a weak arm swinging at eight. Look at fire, dog. Hey there, some silver here. Take a gander. If Miranda wants something from the continent, I'm going to Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. So long. Blade's not worth shite if a weak arm is swinging at eight. Joanna mentioned. Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. His mission to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The wild hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord and that she'd quarreled with a witch. This damn pool's a bastard it is.
may I assist you? Went to Undvik a while ago. Found these. Well, goose kick me. These look like the real thing. Authentic. How did you get them? Wasn't easy, so I'm hoping for a good price on that armor of mine. Harman Ep Grunikan, Lieutenant General of the Second Mounted Army. Welcome to our humble establishment. A true honor to host one of such renown. I've heard the General's a connoisseur and collector of armor. This is true, and they call you a master of the craft. All too kind, sir, truly. I mean, I'm just... I need a suit of armor, heavy, able to withstand piercing projectiles. Piercing projectiles? Oh, bolts, you mean? Mm, that ain't easy. Needs a special alloy, tempering. The new tools. We can do it. Stoke the fire, I'll ready the rest. Bold, your worker. You allow her much. <laughs> you know how it is, General. Good help's hard to come by. We should go outside. There's business to discuss. It's always the same. I've had enough. Enough? They treat me like I'm nobody. The menial labour. Truth is, the Nilf Guardian, the one Fergus is kissing up to, I'll have to craft his armor. Yours too, for that matter. Hmm. So what's Fergus do? Horseshoes, nails, not much else he can do, seeing as he cocks up simple bones. But in the end, they call him Master. No one would ever think I could be a skilled armorer, a human and a woman to boot. A dwarven blacksmith. Oh, that's another story. If that's the case, stand your ground. Don't let him treat you like this. I won't. Not anymore. He can craft the Nilf Guardian's armor himself. I'll make another suit, and we'll see which one's better. I need but one thing I can't get on my own. Would you help me? Depends what it is. To finish the armor, I'll need to harden it, quench it in a bath. Oil's what we usually use, but I want to use acid. Hmm. Kiki Moors and Arch Griffins spit acid. Arch Griffins? Draconic Griffins, you mean? Baron's men came by a few days back, said they'd seen one north of Crow's Perch. It had killed some folk out there. Bound to be a notice posted for the Griffin anyway. Bring me the acid and I'll prove I'm better than Fergus. 